Welcome back to the video here on the Cold Pussy Channel. Today we're cracking up Amador Double Barrel Kentucky Bourbon Whiskey finished in Chardonnay barrels. So let's crack it open and see what it tastes like. Alright, let's go in for a nose. Ah, has a nice like sweetness, sugar, like a, almost like a wheat as well. Like that kind of dusty, kind of like, like that smell and like sweetness you get from like a weeded whiskey. I actually believe this is weeded. Someone's, it has a mash bill in the front. Yeah, so this is 65% corn, 20% wheat, and then 50% barley. And it doesn't see anything else on the back. Okay. Yeah, not worried about that. Um, but from what I've heard, this is actually sourced from Lilith as well. So take out with a grain of salt. Ah. It has like this nice sugar sweetness. I mean, it's not like processed sugar. It's like that very unprocessed, like very raw sugar. Kind of like there's this tea place, like I think, can't remember what it's called. But it's typically in like malls. And they have like this very raw, like like big crystallized sugar that's like different colors. And it's like has this distinct smell. It smells just like that. It's like a like sugar rock. So you use it to put in your tea. Yeah, with a nice like caramel... That weeded like dustiness, with like a hint of like a spice on the back end, but it's like that kind of like, like when you kind of smell paprika and it gets you in the back of the nasal. It's kind of that kind of experience. Yeah. So yeah, let's go in for a taste. Mm. Whew. Really warms up the palate. Very long palate feel. Still going. It kind of like a, rolls off the side of the tongue and, go, whoosh, and like really warms up the mouth. Really coats the tongue as well. Almost like butterscotchy with a nice sweetness. Like a little bit of plum, a little bit of that wine, uh, like that Chardonnay, and like it, I call it just a general wine, not really Chardonnay, but like that in general. Wine, kind of plummy, kind of fruity. Yeah, no. Like a little bit of fig, maybe. Yeah. That is a very interesting palette. Had that sweetness. Like a little bit of tartness as well. Ooh. It's not really getting anything on the front of the tongue. It's all on the back of the palate. Like on the sides of my tongue. Hmm. Yeah, well that nice butterscotchy. That's a very, very nice palette. I like this. Hmm. Yeah, no, this is definitely experience. So this is the Chardonnay finish. It didn't spend that much time, I don't believe, in the Chardonnay barrel. But you do have that influence. Like, I think that's where that plum, that almost like fruitiness kind of comes from. Yeah, almost like a pear as well. Very interesting palette. I kind of want to see where this will go after it opens up for a bit because this is a cork pop. I feel like this will really develop and really open up over time. So yeah, thanks again for watching guys. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. May the best day of your past, may the wish you your future. Cheers guys.